Hey guys, uh, today I have for you a review slash overview of the Samapo Gear AOR1 combat set. Um, I'm going to be directly comparing it to a Cry Precision uh, AC combat set. Um, I'm going to be going over the similarities, the differences, uh, the sizing, uh, and the quality, and then maybe some other miscellaneous things as I go along and find things. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so we're going to start off with the shirt portion and then move down to the pants. Uh, to preface this, I want to say that this is Samapo's latest generation of their combat set as of the date of this video, which will be in the description. So if you're looking at other YouTube videos or other online reviews, you may notice some, diff some differences between the cut and the features. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this and the other videos. Starting up here at the top, at the collar, you have this YKK quarter zip zipper. Uh, for those of you that don't know, YKK is a very reputable um, zipper company that most well-known manufacturers will use in their product. Uh, so that's a really nice feature that Smapple has included uh, that's identical to the Cry. Moving on to the sleeves, right here you have the arm pocket. On the Cry Precision version of this, or the AC cut version rather, there will be two pieces of Velcro here for closure and you won't have these buttons whereas on the, the NC cut version you have these buttons and then one piece of Velcro here. Uh, the reason that the NC cut has these buttons is that the Navy obviously is operating in a lot of marine environments so Velcro when exposed to water uh, can lose some of its sort of retention features so the buttons are there to uh, to just secure the flap and allow and not allow anything to fall out if you're using this pocket for something. Moving down to the elbow portion of the sleeve, uh, the, the major difference between the AC cut Cry's and the NC cut Samapple that you will see is that on the Cry Precision, you actually have a cutout here for an elbow pad, which you can buy on Cry's website. On the, on the NC cut version, or Samapple's version, there is no cutout, but there is this sort of velcro flap here and that opens up to this sort of channel here where you can insert a elbow pad if you want to. Uh, moving down to the cuffs, right here you have this velcro flap here which obviously will tighten and loosen the cuff if you want it tight, if you want it loose you can roll it up, uh, what have you. It's, uh, you can customize it however you want. Moving on to the the shirt portion, uh, the shirt is identical, as, as far as I can tell, to the Cry Precision material, uh, coloring, etc. In the footage you'll see of the Cry Precision, there is a slight variation in the color, but keep in mind that I've worn the Cry Precision version a few times, so it's been washed, there's sweat stains on it, etc. Moving down to the tag portion, Samapo has done a great job of replicating Cry Precision's tag uh, down to the coloring, the way it's laid out, even the, the logo positioning and the size positioning. Uh, so as you can see here, this is a large, uh, so keep that in mind when you're looking at the Cry and the sizing that I'm going to talk about. Uh, they are sized identical. Alright, so moving down to the pants, uh, the main differences you're going to find are, are found in the waistband area, the pockets, and the knee pads. Um, so starting with the waistband area, you'll notice that on the NC cut Samapo version, the back portion of the waistband is cut straight across or it's cut more like uh, an average pair of jeans would be, while the waistband on the AC cut cries, you'll notice it has this kind of high swooping back area. Um, it's not a huge difference, uh, but it's just something to keep in mind when you're ordering whichever one. Um, Moving on to the, the zipper area, or the crotch area essentially, um, you'll notice that on the NC cut Samapos, it's actually held together by buttons, whereas the Cry Precision AC cut version is going to be held together by a zipper and Velcro. Uh, the Velcro on the Samapos, you'll notice, is a lot smaller. It's just kind of a small rectangle, uh, and it matches perfectly with uh, this flap here. Whereas on the cries, you'll notice that this area, it's a longer rectangle, 
which allows for a little bit more adjustment. Um, so I'm assuming it's this way because this is the NC cut versus the AC cut. However, if my a personal gripe of mine is that I would like a little bit more Velcro right here so you can kind of tighten it up, loosen it up, however you want. Um, so yeah, the other difference I found, it's really minuscule, but I just thought I would mention it, is that the knee pad adjustment strings uh, that are found on both versions, uh, on the Samapple, they don't come pre-installed, so you have to kind of get into the pant leg and then kind of weave it through the pocket, which is a little bit of a pain, but again, it's not its not a huge deal. It took me probably five, 10 minutes to do both of them. Uh, whereas the Cries, they come pre-installed. Um, so moving down, the last difference that I could find is in the length of the stretch material by the knee pads. Um, on the Cry Precisions, at its longest here, uh, it's about two and a half inches, whereas on the Samapo, it's two and a quarter inch, which again, not a huge deal to the average eye. You can't really pick it up, but I would just thought I would mention it. Knee pads, these are both prime precision knee pads, so as you can see, they fit in both. They fit, uh, they're obviously gonna fit in the cry, but they fit perfectly in the Samapo. Um, so that's nice. Uh, you don't have to use any of the crappy uh, kind of replica knee pads out there. You can buy the genuine stuff. Anyway, I guess we'll move on to kind of the pocket distribution on both. Uh, they're pretty much the same, if not identical. So starting up here at the top, you have two hand pockets. Kind of your, there's nothing really to say about them. Uh, moving down right above the knee pad area, you have these kind of thigh pockets. Um, a lot of guys will put their wallet in there, a can of uh, dip or whatever, uh, whatever you want to put in there. And then you obviously have your cargo pocket on the side. And on the back here, you have this sort of smaller pocket, which again, you can put your wallet in, uh, whatever you want. And that, again, is also on the cry, identical. It's identical on the cry. Uh, moving down. Below the knee pad area, you have a calf pocket, uh, again, for whatever you want to put down there. Uh, yeah, moving to the back of these, behind the knee pad area, just like on the cries, you're going to find this sort of Velcro area, and this allows you to adjust uh, the amount of fabric that is around your knee. Uh, so say the knees are, or the knee pads are a little loose on you, you can tighten them up or you can loosen them up, uh, what have you. Uh, same thing goes for down here by the ankles. You have, just like on the cuffs of the shirt, you have these little Velcro flaps that are going to allow you to tighten or loosen it, depending on how you want it. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, stretch material, both in the knee pad area and along this back waist area. It's, from what I can tell, it seems, it seems to be the exact same material. However, for whatever reason, the Samapo seems a tiny bit thinner. Uh, whether that's just me being nitpicky or maybe wanting to find a flaw or it isn't, I don't know. But uh, it's, either case, it's perfectly adequate for what you're gonna be using it for. And I don't really see it tearing in any normal use out of the pants. Um, quality wise, the stitching on the pants, both the pants and the shirt, are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, they are, I haven't found a difference yet between the stitching or the patterning and the stitching, stitching between the cry and the Samapple. They're identical. Um, the Samapple threading even looks a little bit more robust than the cry does. Um, I'm not saying that it's a better pant, but I am saying that it's. I wouldn't be concerned at all with tearing this or blowing something out, uh, etc. All right, so moving on to sizing. Uh, sizing for the most part is, it's great. Uh, it's exactly what you're ordering, uh, so that's nice. You don't have to kind of guess around with, uh, is this gonna fit me? Should I go a size lower? Should I go a size higher, uh, et cetera. Um, so one thing I will mention is that on the pants, the pants are a little bit more, they're a little more baggier than my cry precision pants are. Um, I wear a 34 regular, 
and that's what both of these are sized as. Um, this, I'm, I'm going to say it could, be, it could fit up to a 36, um, or possibly maybe a 36, whereas the Cry could maybe fit a 35. So these si are sized a little bit uh, wider, I guess, um, but for the most part, with a belt or whatever, uh, they're just what you want, uh, which is nice. Moving on to the shirt sizing, uh, the shirt sizing, the sleeve length, the length of the shirt, uh, it's just like the cry. Um, the one difference that I did note is that in the chest area, the chest area is actually a little bit tighter, or a little more snug than uh, the cry precision, but again, it's not a huge deal. Um, this is a large, and my cry is a large, and I can fit into both of them. Um, so, in summary, uh, the sizing is great, the quality is phenomenal. Uh, they replicate the cry precision to a T, essentially, uh, despite the minor, the minor differences between the AC and the NC cut. Uh, but if you're really not really interested in that, uh, then this is probably, no, th this is the best uh, replica combat set on the market right now. Um, so I would definitely say it's worth the money. Um, if you're looking to pick up a set, I'd say go for it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them in the comments section. Um, and I'll try and answer them as soon as possible. Uh, if you haven't already, I have a Facebook page called Carvona Airsoft Videos. Um, I also have an Instagram, which is Carvona underscore videos, and I'll post pictures, information, uh, new videos coming out, etc. on those. Uh, so go ahead and like those if you'd like. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.